Welcome back. Grant Merrill is here, and he was, uh, I think he was scheduled to be on the show a few weeks ago, and uh, he's made it to, to the Harrison area, and he's, he's got an interesting project. And, you know, magazines, to me, uh, if you have a successful magazine, you're really doing something right in well, today's time. We're trying to. Yeah. As long well, as we get that print bill paid, we may, yeah. not, may not eat for a little bit. That's but. your first requirement, <laughs> isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Well, yeah. tell us about tell us, Yeah, book. tell us about well, what. Bot Magazine is actually uh, a high school magazine for most of the year. Today I brought our college edition with okay. us. Uh, you can see on the front of it the uh, weapons of mass production is our Razorback story. And it's... Uh, uh, basically, what we're doing in this uh, particular one that's on the stands at Walmart right now. Oh, really? Uh, we are actually. So you've got coverage in Walmart. That's good. Every every store in the state. It doesn't matter okay. if you're in Eudora or, you know, Diamond City. Right. Well, Diamond City doesn't have a Walmart, but Harrison does. So well, they need one, don't they? They, they probably do. One. Everybody needs one. Uh, but you know, we we've got these on the stands at Walmart, and, and they're actually uh, in this particular edition uh, that's out on the stands now. We are previewing every college program in the state. It, it, we've got the, our cover stories on the Razorbacks. We have uh -huh. the Arkansas State Red Wolves, even the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys. I know you have a few mm -hmm. alumni of uh, Tech in your family. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so basically uh, we've got this for all the college football fans. And then in two weeks, we actually go to press with this Friday. I'm, I'm supposed to be writing stories and creating ads right now, but on Friday we're actually going to press with our high school football edition. Okay. And that is going to be our 200-page issue in which we preview actually every high school football program in the state. So awesome. For those of you watching in Harrison, we've got wow. all the goblins and uh, we yeah. visited with the new coach, uh, mm -hmm. Coach Harbison, mm -hmm. to see what you guys are going to be like this year. And then right. uh, Mountain Home, Salem, it doesn't matter where you're watching in the viewing So area. how are we going to do? I think y'all are probably going to, you know, do okay. Yeah, I think Coach Harbison uh, has got some big shoes to fill with Coach Ty stepping yeah. down. Of course, yeah. anytime you follow a man who's been around for 30, 40, 50 years, uh, yeah. sorry, Coach, I, I know it's not yeah. 50, but, uh, you know, he, he seems like he's been around forever. Wow. And so anytime you follow a legend like that, it's going to be a very interesting to it's see It's a humbling results. experience. Uh, now, I want to know, if this is just an Arkansas-based magazine? This Actually, uh, the Vibe brand is in uh, several states. It's in Oklahoma, in Arkansas, okay. and Texas, and, and there's a few other states as well. I think Kansas and Indiana, but I, I actually own the Vibe of Arkansas. Uh, okay. My partner is Nate Olson, who's uh, been a sports writer in Arkansas for years, and uh, we actually bought it three months ago, and this is our first big wow. uh, Walmart cool. issue. Cool. So, cool. you know, it's... Uh, you know, you know how it is selling advertising and mm -hmm. uh, making your uh, living in the media. Oh, it's business. easy. Oh, yeah, that's ah, what they say. It's so but, easy. But uh, it, you know, we're we're having a, a lot of good response. And you know, the good thing is there's nothing that brings communities together like high school football in the fall. Oh, sure. Yeah, you bet. Basketball yeah, in the right. winter, and mm -hmm. you know, we get to cover all this 12 months a year. And I'm just uh, really pumped about the opportunity. Now, now, or to do a sports magazine. Now, I, I couldn't survive in a sports magazine because I, I'm. It's like Chinese to me. I don't know a lot about sports. I mean, sure. I can watch it, the knowledge but, there. but you've got to have some pretty intelligent and in-depth people on the staff to pull this off. We Tell do, us about your staff. We do. We have, uh, uh, like I said, Nate Olson is my partner that does the editorial, and, and he's been around for years. Uh, he's been in Fayetteville and Fort Smith. He worked for some other publications in the state. And then, you know, a lot of our guys, uh, Terry Wood, who wrote our Razorback uh, feature, has been covering the Hogs for 15 years. Okay. And, you know, he's uh, in and out of the program. I, I've been in sports radio. This is actually my first venture into print, but I've been in sports radio and uh, covered every facet of the Hogs for, mm -hmm. you know, uh, 15 okay. years now and so it's really been an interesting experience and you know um, people just live and breathe football and basketball yeah. in the state of Arkansas I mean just jump on the internet or Facebook or Twitter anytime mm -hmm. there's a coaching search or a big development and, yeah. and you can see how many people are talking about it and exactly. um, well, you know, it's a full-time job I mean it, you have to really is. keep up with it every it, day don't you it is so we do keep up with it every day I, I actually in addition to the magazine we supply sports programming on the radio to about 42 stations okay. across the state cool. and so we we do daily sports updates and uh, we even ventured oh, into TV and baseball season that was an interesting experience I'm gonna leave that to you guys <laughs> so, <laughs> so but, a wee bit uh, different isn't it? it it's a wee bit different yeah. but uh, it's a it's a lot of fun yeah so yeah. Wow um, uh, sports uh, that's covered in the magazine is it just football and basketball it actually we ha have a 
three paid editions that cover football and basketball. We have a college football preview, which this is uh, it right here. Mm -hmm. We have our high school football preview, which goes on sale next month. And then we have a uh, paid basketball high school preview that will go on sale in December. And then the rest of the month, we give away in racks around Northwest Arkansas, coming soon to Harrison, by the way. Uh, but uh, Northwest Arkansas, Fort Smith, and Little Rock, we have a free monthly magazine. And oh, we cool. cover all yeah. sports in, in the free monthly magazine. We did uh, a wrestling feature. I mean, uh, so many schools in Arkansas are getting yeah. wrestling programs, yeah. soccer. Uh, you know, pe people just like to see their kids. And, and we, we will do whatever we can to highlight the accomplishments of our young You people. said free monthly yes. magazine. Now, that's probably so. supported solely by uh, sponsors. Sponsors and advertising. Yes, solely yeah. by advertising. Yeah. So uh, you, you know, you know that how mm -hmm. that goes. Yeah, so. that's that's the lifeblood of everything. And this comes out how often? This is your preview, which. This is actually going to come out. Uh, the college football preview comes out once a year, high school okay. preview once a year, and then the basketball right. preview once a year. Cool. So cool. it's on, the, like I said, every Walmart. It's just $7.99 uh, at Walmart, and, and we have sold through a bunch of them. And Harrison was actually the first Walmart I found it in. I had been looking for two weeks, and I really? was in there one night, and I finally saw it, and, and I almost did a cartwheel right down the uh, front aisle of the Harrison Walmart. Yeah, so, cool. Do, are you in other stores besides Walmart? Uh, yes, ma'am. We're okay. in uh, Barnes & Noble, Hastings. I know that okay. doesn't help people in Harrison yeah. out much. Right. I think we, we're in the Walgreens stores as well, so you okay. can probably get it there. Okay. Okay. And, uh, you know, anywhere fine magazines are sold, mm -hmm. you'll Now, you'll find is it. it going to be called Arkansas Vibe every every edition? Uh, Vibe Magazine is uh, okay. the, you know, we, I, I, I'm not sure. What, I've got to talk to our graphic designers about getting this word a little bigger than Arkansas mm -hmm. so people know mm -hmm. where we are. But, right. uh, you know, this is... It, it is uh, Vibe Arkansas. You know, usually when I when I pick up periodicals articles like this, you know, you've got an array of, of magazines to choose from. You look sure. for that that eye catching logo that that exactly. draws you to that. So people, that's people, why I wondered if, if that you're was, looking for Vibe, it would right. Well, people see these Razorbacks on here, and, they're, and it's they're, not hard to it's not hard okay. to sell. Zoning and, on there. and then our uh, actually our uh, high school football preview. We're going to feature uh, four of the hottest prospects in, in Arkansas high school football. Mm -hmm. The ones mm -hmm. that we feel like are going to have uh, Division One careers. And How do you do that yeah. research? You know, we just keep up with uh, recruiting. We, we keep up, you know, there's a lot of people, and we depend on a lot of other people. Uh, there, there's guys that specialize in recruiting. I mean, right. they track these kids out of the seventh grade, you know. Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. you know, by following their reports, we're kind of able to identify who's going to be okay. doing and, and then, you know, when you follow uh, who Arkansas is watching, mm -hmm. I mean, those coaches will tell you who they're watching, and, and so we're able to define them. So, so. Do, you, do you have a little fantasy football thing going on in your head all the time? Who's going to be on what team? And no, no. Who's going to be? going to college and all that? If I tried to keep up with all that myself, <laughs> I, I would go stir crazy. <laughs> it would be, you know, yeah, because funny. there's so many athletes to keep up with. Yeah, but so. we want to uh, mention that the Arkansas High School Edition is coming out Middle of July. It's Middle soon. of July, okay, the 15th so or so. 15th or so, okay. it'll be in the Walmart stores. Probably the last, if it's not here by the 15th, it'll pick, be in the... Pick that up and, and uh, get a good... Uh, uh, representation of what all the schools are going to be going, at, especially in our conference. And this is available mm -hmm. now. Yes, the college football college edition football. available now. I'll, okay. I'll even leave a few copies if you want to give away to some viewers okay. or have any sure. yeah, we'll Facebook do that. contests. Yeah. But anyway. we'll, we'll do some of that. Uh, website? Website is vibearkansas.com. Yes, you can read it online, vypearkansas.com. Okay. And, so. and they can contact you there if they want to. Absolutely. That'll Absolutely. be a part of your stringing people that uh, oh we need all in. the help we yeah. can get I can so can you get on a mailing list <laughs> sure okay. sure just uh, you know sign up on the website and we'll be happy okay. to okay one to and you. i'm sure you have facebook and absolutely you're looking for a lot of friends too we're always looking for friends okay. on facebook I, i'm a friend of y'all so y'all y'all should be a friend of mine I, wow. I, I in fact i watch this broadcast just about every week do you really yes i gotta tell you i'm just glad miss ann made it uh, safely here I'm, and i'm going to tell you why why <laughs> The last time I saw you was I was lucky enough to have some friends in the community theater, as, as we know, and you were being strapped into oh, some yeah. type of apparatus to where you flew over the theater. Uh -huh. And I watched her go over, and I said, boy, that flying lady looks familiar. Yeah. And uh, it was Ann. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, she's on TV. And so mm -hmm. I finally figured out. Last time I saw you, you, your character had unwillingly or unknowingly spurred some economic development in the mythical town of Faro, Texas, uh, right, a couple right. weeks ago. So he no one does would, keep up with this. Okay. No <laughs> one would believe me. I know y'all better than you know. Exactly. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Um, I'm a lyric theater groupie. 
Okay. That's good. Well, we're, good we're glad you're part of this uh, community and, and glad you're doing yeah, well with the magazine. I th I, we encourage everybody to pick up Vipe magazine. Uh, you can pick it up at Walmart. Uh, You'll probably find some copies there right now, this Absolutely. edition. Absolutely. Absolutely. And look for the high school uh, edition that's coming up real soon in a couple weeks. We're well, going to see a lot of the kids' names that you know. I mean, uh, the kids that are going to be starting for the Goblins next year and any of our area teams. I mean, it, it doesn't matter if you're mm -hmm. watching in Salem mm -hmm. or uh, right. Lead Hill. We're going to have your football teams. And, and you know, it's, uh, it's definitely a, an undertaking, but we're proud to accomplish uh, or wow. to highlight the accomplishment. And that's look great. look at all these there's pictures in this magazine. That's that's really? what I like is the photos. <laughs> My daughter's four and she reads it all day long. She just loves looking at the pictures. So good deal. Well maybe Grant, you can thanks, come back yeah. sometime and, hey, and keep I'd love us up to. Today. I, I just appreciate yeah, sure. you guys having me. I love your T V station and uh, you know, I, I was watching some uh, back episodes the other day, just kind of seeing what you oh got. Boy. I got to go down to the Cliff House Inn now. I've been hungry for that for two I weeks. Know. That's an awesome place to go. <laughs> yeah. You really need to try that out. Uh, yeah, I grew up in Russellville. We stopped there every time we oh, come yeah. up here. Yeah. So, well, yeah. you Thank you for right. having Thank me. You, Thank you, Grant. Thank you so much. All right. Up next, uh, we're going to talk to our resident globetrotter, Fred Wool, <laughs> and he's brought with him Sybil Craig, and they're going to be talking about the Buffalo National River Partners. We'll find out all about that. Stay with us. Stay with us.